Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts. We will be also implementing some logic gates like AND OR. So let's start. Example 4. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 3 is on, then motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will be on. If switch 4 is on, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. So, for here, we have three switches. Switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4. And we are also having four motors. Motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4. So, for motor 1 to be on, switch 1 or switch 2 or switch 3 or switch 4 should be on. So, motor 1 will be turned on if any one switch is on. Then, motor 2 will be on if switch 2, switch 3 or switch 4 is on. So, uh, uh, <coughs> any of the three switches should be on, then motor 2 will be on. Any one switch except switch 1. And then for motor 3 to be on, either switch 3 should be on or switch 4 should be on. And for motor 4 to be on, switch 4 should be on. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 will be on. Then if second switch is on, two motors will be on. And if switch 3 is on, all the three motors will be on. And switch 4 will turn on all the four motors. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts. And we will be also implementing OR logic gate. So let's start. So this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags, default tag table. So we are having four switches. So let's write switch one and then click on this corner and drag it to four. Then switch two, switch three and switch four will be automatically fetched. And then uh, I have to add the outputs that is motor 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for this I will write motor 1 and then I will change the address here as Q, Q 0 0.0 and then I will click on this uh, corner and drag it to 4. So motor 1, motor 3 and motor 4 will be automatically fast. So, let's minimize this and I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here, we will be drawing ladder diagram. So here, firstly, I will insert a coil and this coil will be for motor 1. So motor 1. So for motor 1 to be on, Either switch 1 or switch 2 or switch 3 or switch 4 should be on. So there will be implementation of OR logic gate. So switch 1, then open branch, normally open contact, then again open contact, and then again open contact. Open branch and then open contact. And now I will close the branch. So I can also use a uh, shortcut here, then F9, shift and F9. So I need to assign address. Firstly, let's zoom in like this. And then I will assign address to it as switch 1, then switch 2, then switch Three, sorry, switch two, then switch three, and then switch four. So, if switch one or switch two or switch three or switch four is turned on, motor one will be on, and then we have motor two. So, I will insert a coil here. For motor 2, motor 2, 
and then I will add normally open contact here and then again here and then again here. Sorry, open branch and then normally open contact. Let's close the branch. Shift plus F9. Then again click here, Shift F9. So the first one will be switch to switch to because switch one will not turn on motor two. It will turn only uh, motor one. Then it will be switch three, and then it will be switch four. So if switch two or switch three or switch four is turned on, motor two will be on. And then for motor three, I will insert a coil, and then. It will be motor 3. So for motor 3 to be on, switch 3 or switch 3 should be on. So I will insert a normally open contact, open branch, and then one more normally open contact. And then I will close a branch. So it will be switch. Switch 3. And then it will be switch 4. So if switch 3 or switch 4 is on, motor 3 will be on. And for motor 4, only switch 4 will turn the motor 4 on. So for motor 4, I will use only one normally open contact, that 2 for switch 4. And I will assign address to the coil as motor 4. So here, if switch 1 is on, then only motor 1 will be on and then if switch 2 is on, motor 1 and also motor 2 will be on. And then if switch 3 is on, motor 1 will be on and also motor 2 will be on because switch 2 is also connected to motor and also motor 3 will not turn on. And then if switch 3 is on, motor 1 will be on. Here switch 3 is connected, motor 2 will also be on. And here also switch 3 is connected and motor 3 will also turn on. And if switch 4 is on, then motor 1 will turn on and also motor 2 will turn on. And here switch 4 is here also. So motor 3 will turn on and also switch 4 will turn on motor 4. So let's do the simulation here. Let's start simulation. Okay. load finish and then let's start the cpu then okay let's click on monitoring on off and then switch to project view Let's create a new project here. And then click on this option. It's still processing. And then go to simulation table and simulation table 1. And then right click on here and then load project tags. So switch 1, switch 2, all the tags are being here. Then, so when I turn on switch 1, as you can see here, motor 1 becomes true. Motor 1 becomes true. And then, when I turn on switch 2, motor 1 motor 1 and also motor 2 will turn on. And then, when I turn on switch 3, you can see here, so motor 1 is also on, 
motor 2 is also on and motor 3 is also on. And then when I turn on switch 4, all the 4 mot motors are on. As you can see here, motor 1 is on, motor 2 is also on and then motor 3 is also on and motor 4 is also on. So here, when I turn on only switch 1, motor 1 is on and if I turn on switch 2, two motors are on, motor 1 and motor 2 are on and then if I turn on switch 3, then three motors are on, motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 are on and when I turn on switch 4, all the four motors are turned on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.